know about Mo Salah and about his position in Liverpool and about what he's doing in the English Premier League, about uh, the last season's achievements of Mo and about uh, what are the most important dreams and hopes and ambitions in front of Mo in the coming period of time. Well, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone our sports critic and analyst, Mr. Muhammad Adel. A very good morning to you, Mr. Adel, and Happy New Year. You, uh, thanks. Same to you. Thank you. Sir, if we speak about Mo and about what's going on in Liverpool, well, all the time you would feel that Mo is... Uh, is giving his um, addition, touch. His, um, his goals or assists all the time are making the difference. If you agree with me on that before going into more details. Of course, he is making a difference, uh, whether uh, in, uh, with Liverpool or with the Egyptian national team, of course. 100% mm -hmm. I agree with you. Despite the fact that with uh, uh, the level or level of Liverpool this season, uh, there are ups and downs in their performance. But when it comes to Mo, I think that I cannot accuse him of such a thing. True? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. In a way? Uh, Mo, yes. Uh, Mo, uh, a, a part of Liverpool performance this season, uh, which is not that great for, uh, from the point of view of their fans and the point of view of the football fans about Liverpool performance. But Mo is doing good, uh, more than good, uh, compared to the performance of Liverpool this season. Mm -hmm. But when we are talking about uh, Salah in 2022, we'll find that he did many great things. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the first great thing Salah did in 2022 he, that he got the golden boot of the Premier League for the third time in his uh, experience in the Premier League. Be, getting the golden boot for the third time is, uh, uh, put his name with the uh, greatest names of the uh, top scorers of the Premier League. We're talking that Salah is compared to the uh, the great English uh, top scorer, Alan Shearer, is uh, compared to uh, the, uh, the talented French player, Thierry Henry, uh, yeah. uh, compared to uh, Harry Kane. He is the fourth player to get the golden boot for the third time in the Premier League. Since, and I think it was uh, between him and son of South Korea? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, he, he got it uh, last season with uh, Hyun Bin Sun. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the great South Korean player of Tottenham Hotspur, but I'm talking about Salah that, that he took, he got it for the third time uh, uh, in his uh, experience and in his uh, play, uh, playing uh, while playing with Liverpool, he uh, became one of the four giants of the top scorers of the Premier League with Alan Shearer, Thierry Henry, and Harry Kane to get the Golden Boot three times. Since the beginning of the Premier League in uh, season 1992-1993, so we're talking about a great uh, record for Mo Salah. Uh, and to in score in the very first match of the season, I think for five consecutive times, this is also another record. I mean, Mo's records or Mo's numbers, they are not going to be broken that easy. Yes, absolutely, yes, 100% yes. Because he's, uh, he, he did a great season with Liverpool, even with the Egyptian national team. He did a great season in 2021-2022. Uh, he got the uh, player of the season with Liverpool, and, and he gave the player of the season in the Premier League by the choice of the committee of Premier League players. Yes. Uh, also uh, being the seventh, uh, the, the fifth uh, rank in the Ballon d'Or uh, the, the great fan of the Ballon d'Or, I believe Salah deserved to be uh, better. This was my this. common question regarding the, um, the, the Ballon d'Or list. With all my respect, with all my respect, I don't know till the moment why Sadio Mane was considered the second and, and Mo fell behind him. 
what's the difference i mean is it because of the um, national team of egypt and national team of senegal and what they have done in their qualification to the uh, world cup or there are other reasons which i really do not understand simply the the choices of the ballon d'or is uh, by journalism hmm. it's not related to the uh, achievements uh, okay karim benzema won the ballon d'or and he did deserve it 100%. 100%? Uh, yes. But we are talking about the, uh, the way of choosing the Ballon d'Or winner or the Ballon d'Or list. It's by journalists uh, from uh, all over the world. So we are talking about Sadio Mane. Okay, Sadio Mane had been qualified with the uh, World Cup and won the uh, African uh, and uh, he won Salah in the uh, two games uh, by the penalty kicks, but the uh, way of choosing the Ballon d'Or winner is by the journalists all over the world. Yeah. Nothing more. Going to what happened in November in Dubai, going to the Fans uh, Award, going to the Globe Soccer, going to being included um, with the list of the great icons uh, of uh, uh, football nowadays. How have you seen this and if this was expected? Uh, I believe it's 100% expected. We saw the negotiations between Liverpool and Salah to extend his contract. It was uh, getting very professional. We, it, it, for, uh, for, for us, for the Egyptians, it's the first time to see that way of negotiations from a, a, a Class A club like Liverpool to go to Salah in his uh, vacation uh, location and sign him for another three seasons. That's something we uh, don't use. We uh, we aren't used to see for an Egyptian player. So we are uh, watching and seeing Salah being doing great things and living great moments. Uh, and the, I believe the peak was in extending his contact with Liverpool, while all uh, our most of the people. Were, were thinking that Salah will leave Liverpool and go to uh, Real Madrid or Barcelona or wherever. But the way uh, Liverpool extended uh, Salah's contract and the negotiations was so great and, and we are proud of being uh, a class A club like Liverpool uh, negotiating with uh, a, an Egyptian player uh, with that way. And yeah. that, uh, that had a... a uh, a result. The result was Salah is the best player in Liverpool team. Uh, he's the most produ uh, uh, productive player in, in Liverpool by his goals. He uh, became, uh, has seven goals uh, in the 2020-2023 uh, Premier League season and four assists. He, is, uh, he, he was in hand of 11 goals for Liverpool. A part of Liverpool performance uh, throughout the season, since the beginning of the season, but he did great in the Champions League, the top scorer of the UEFA Champions Regarding League. Regarding the Champions with, with League, as far goals. as I remember, that Mo is now uh, sharing uh, um, Pape in the top scorer spot by seven goals. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes. taking into consideration that only a few days ago, Pape um, celebrated his 24th. Um, uh, birthday, Mo, inshallah, is about to be 31st on the 15th of June 2023. Yes. Is there a kind of comparison or comparison is not there? Well, there will be a comparison between the big stars. We are talking about big mega stars. There will be a comparison all, all over the time. While, uh, while Salah and Bakri are on the, uh, being on the first uh, rank of the top scorers of the UEFA Champions League uh, before Lionel Messi, before Erling Haaland, before many other players, uh, many other players, it will be a comparison. And we are very proud that Salah is doing great since his arrival to Liverpool to be on that race of, for the mega stars uh, and the big stars in Europe and all over the world. Salah is doing great. He uh, did score seven goals in six games in the UEFA Champions League throughout the group stage. Uh, we are waiting for the great uh, battle uh, between Liverpool and Real Madrid in the round of 16 uh, next Feb.
So uh, we, uh, uh, we are waiting for Salah performance and waiting more and more from Salah. Salah is doing great. He really about... raised the bar for all of us. He raised the yeah. ceiling of our he ambitions. Did, did now we're speaking great about great the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. We're speaking about yeah. top scorer in the English Premier League. We're speaking about his performance in the UEFA Champions League. We're speaking about competitions which are really... I mean, with all my respect, of course, that far from the Arab or African levels. We are speaking about the stars, as you've kindly mentioned. Absolutely, yes. Because of that, most of the uh, fans in Qatar 2022 were waiting for Egypt just for watching Salah playing in the World Cup. Mm. And I believe that if Salah played in Qatar 2022, he will, he, I believe he would uh, do a great performance with yeah. the Egyptian uh, national team throughout uh, and uh, in front of the Egyptian uh, fans uh, who will be uh, uh, in the stadiums. Uh, all of the, the, uh, com uh, the, the committees related to World Cup, we're waiting for Egypt and we're waiting for Salah, but what happened that we are we failed to be qualified by the penalty kicks uh, versus Senegal. So Salah is doing a great season, a part of Liverpool performance. They did a great season uh, in 2021-2022. They uh, lost, they lost the Premier League in the last. Uh, uh, the last Sir, one final the, uh, question, because you mentioned a very important thing, which uh, uh, which was the uh, renewing the contract of Mo in Liverpool. Um, as I said, Salah is going to turn 31 uh, in June 2023, inshallah. Uh, do you think that Mo made his mind and he should and uh, sh he should make an end to his career as a footballer in Liverpool, or he, he should think from now where he should retire? Well, um, I believe from my humble point of view that Salah will uh, play most of his football career in Liverpool because he became a legend in Liverpool, yeah. really a legend. And he, he is in the top 10 of the top scorers of Liverpool history. So uh, he used his mind, he thought well, so as to uh, stay in Liverpool, they did... Uh, give him a, a great contract so as to continue with them. Uh, Salah is not a player. Salah is a legend in Liverpool. So, mm. so I believe he will uh, continue most of his career in Liverpool. I believe, uh, uh, like many, play, many, many megastars, he will end in the, some of the Class B uh, uh, leagues like the MLS or um, in wherever we, we, we don't know and we saw uh, Cristiano Ronaldo going to uh, the Saudi club and not so <laughs> we don't know the, the, the end of the career of Salah. Well, tomorrow is another it's, day it's and we will it's, know. It's, but we wish him, of course, yeah. the best of luck. And oh, we wish that course, he is going yes. to continue to raise the bar for all of us as usual. Mr. Mohamed Adel, our sports analyst, thank you very much for your input, sir. And have a very good day and happy new year. By this we come to the end of uh, our breakfast show today. Tomorrow is another episode and another crew. Stay tuned on Al TV International always for more updates. And for more details, please log on to www.nalinternational.net. We're in the company of my dear colleague and friend Amal Mukhtar and myself, Nirmin Abdurrahman. Many thanks for watching. It's goodbye for now.